In our conversation of reading God, I'm your host, Brad Victor. Today we're talking about deliverance by the word. There are three areas of deliverance for every woman being because man is made of spirit, soul, and body. And the first area is the area of the spirit. You get delivered in your spirit when you get born again. That's that's what, what Jesus came to do. Now, the second area is your soul. And you get that, you know, you overcome that particular or get that deliverance when you renew your soul because it's your mindset that determines how you are. That our Bible says, cast all the imagination that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. Number two is the body. And the body's deliverance comes from deliverance from illness, deliverance from, you know, poverty and lack, and deliverance from relationship problems, marriages or with friends. So that's what the, uh, you know, the book of John was saying that. Ted John chapter one verse two says, "Which are both that you prosper and being good at, even as your soul prospers." In other words, the soul is a major part in enjoying the deliverance of the body. But with the, you cannot. It all starts in the, the hierarchy of start the spirit, the soul, and the body. So, in other words, to enjoy total deliverance, you must follow these steps of having deliverance from your spirit, then soul. To your body, so that's why it's important you guys get born again. And after the Bible says, "Present your body as a living sacrifice, the holy and acceptable to God." Then renew your mind. So the renew of the mind is where people have problem because many people are stuck here. They don't have, you know, have been looking for prayers. Prayers is good, but the ultimate form of deliverance comes by the Word of God. Renew your mind. To add, you know, when the devil comes with you lies, because that was Jesus used to defeat Satan was his word. When he came to tempt him three times, he spoke the word back. So the word the renew your mind is the major part that brings deliverance to your soul. And this is where men will miss it. So they've been praying, but when you pray, that's good. You might be delivered immediately. But when you go to the word, devil comes with tricks and manipulation and he's speaking to your thoughts to you know think or do it. Otherwise, call it the word, then it gets you back in a bondage. So that's why it's important to understand that deliverance of the word goes in line with prayer. That's why Jesus said, if you know the truth, you continue my word, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So in other words, the word of God is the primary source of total deliverance. And I want to quickly tell you this. Now, if you want to enjoy deliverance by the word, because you know, it's not just about prayer. Prayer is good, as I said before. But if you want a primary form of deliverance, why don't you rely more on what I've experienced t- times when I'm reading the scriptures, spend, they take out time, maybe three days, and I'm reading scriptures just to meditate on it and read the scriptures, I get encounter from divine encounters from God himself, maybe Jesus Christ, or uh, using the face of a person, or a direct encounter through the Holy Spirit. i seen the Holy Spirit directly, and he ministering to me, deliverance by two dreams, two visions, and then, you know, that happens. That is the kind of deliverance you can have just by studying the scriptures. So that way you can, you can enjoy the scriptures, enjoy deliverance through the word by studying the scriptures, meditating on it, then you will see that that deliverance comes. You don't really need a pastor to pray for you before you get deliverance. You can get deliverance by the word, by meditating on it, because as you meditate on the word, you are, you know, focusing on Jesus, and Jesus will attend to you and give you that deliverance. And moreover, as I said, delivering by word is permanent. But if you're not born again, you need to get born again. Well, God delivering your spirit, then you can start the process of deliverance of your soul and your body. So say the prayer on the screen if you want to get born again. And if you're already born again, then something like Jesus Christ. So I have to say again, thanks for your time.